Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. In the last episode, we made our way all the way down Route 12 and 13, I believe it was, to get our way to Fuchsia City. It was a long episode going all the way from up here, all the way down, then to the left, and then down again, then all the way to the left until we reached Fuchsia City. I didn't go into Fuchsia City j just yet because I wanted to go all the way up this way to Celadon City, go to the left and see if I can't go down this way. Just out of curiosity, I don't know why there are two paths leading to Fuchsia City, so I guess we'll find out together. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Eve to fly on over that way. I think that'll be perfect. We'll give that a shot and see how ho hopefully everything turns out well. Eve is, ha Eve is having fun and wondering where the, the two of you will go next. Well, for right now, we're gonna be flying back to somewhere we've already been. Seems I can't be used here. Oh, because we're inside, gotcha. Okay, so let's get outside. <laughs> that might be the first most helpful thing we can do. We also caught a Tauros right at the end of the last episode, which was super duper exciting. But um, back on topic, <laughs> let's use our secret technique, Sky Dash. And like I said, we wanna go up here to Celadon City. Yep. And that really shouldn't be too challenging to do. Just up we go. Whee. And here we are in Celadon City. So actually, yeah, perfect opportunity. Let's go ahead and heal everybody up. And then I'll head to the left and basically do the same thing we did last episode, head to Fuchsia City just from the other direction as much as we possibly can. I don't know if there'll be something blocking us, but I'm pretty sure there isn't. But uh, we'll find out together. Okay, so there we go. There's all six of our Pokemon healed up, which is perfect. But yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot going down at Fuchsia City, so I feel like that deserves its own episode, especially since we haven't you know, covered getting there yet. I wanted to make sure that gets done as soon as possible. So that's what we're doing now. And it's also been a perfect way to train up our Pokemon a little bit so that they can sort of handle the uh, challenges to come. Because with how tough the uh, Psychic Gym was, I'm sure there's a lot more challenges going on. Ooh, what's up? Uh. Tonka seems very interested in the fountain. Oh, looks like it was splashed by some water. Tonka looks pleased. I'd have to imagine you are, <laughs> seeing how you're a water type Pokemon. Anyways, yo, we're gonna go to the left. Oh, and there's another Snorlax blocking the way. So we'll try to see if we can't catch you as well. A Pokemon is brought out in a deep and comfortable slumber. Do you wanna use a Poke Flute? Yes, if we could catch more than one Snorlax, I'd be fine with it. Because we did the same thing last episode. Uh, we, we played the, the Pokey Flute, we caught a Snorlax, it was pretty cool. Okay. Snorlax woke up! Mistook you for a food and attacked. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so a wild Snorlax appeared. Defense rose, oh my. So we do need to take you out in a certain amount of time if we do want to actually catch you this time as well, which I do. So we're gonna use Thunder. Just whatever is the highest amount of damage, that's what we wanna do. The first off, rain down the thunder. And I took out just about half your health, you're gonna use Lick, which is gross, but beyond that, it's fine. I mean, he is trying to eat us after all. Okay, thunder again, that might be enough to take him out. It may not be though. And then if he uses sleep after this, he'll ooh, heal, which won't be good. Oh, but he's paralyzed, that's good. And he's gonna use Lick again, which is perfect. Usually he tries to sleep and heals back like half his health, which makes it more difficult. So right now we're just gonna do Thunderbone. And that should be good to you know take him down, make everything work. And indeed it does. Very good. So we can try to catch him now and hopefully, oh, and he's tiny. Oh, I really want to get him now. Now, that was a great throw. Could have been an excellent. It's really easy to throw an excellent on a Snorlax, so I should have been able to. Ah, uh, okay. So you know what? We're gonna go ahead and give him some food. Uh, and that berry sounds good to me. And then now. What was that? I just threw it at his head. I'm so sorry, it's not what I meant to do. Ah, uh, yeah, that was gonna be bad. So close to catching it too. Now, that was an excellent throw. It's really easy to do that, so I don't know why I messed it up so badly, but I did. And we caught him. First excellent throw is all we needed. All right, so you caught a Snorlax. First catch of the day. 1,178 experience, that's quite a lot. Good experience for everyone. Tonka's about to get level 46, which is really exciting. And there we have it. So our second Snorlax, he was only five feet tall instead of the six foot tall Snorlax. I mean, that's still huge, but smaller. Oh, I do see a Pokeball now. Oh, was that a Dodrio? We haven't even caught a Doduo yet. That would be really cool. Let's go ahead and try to grab that as well. Where'd you go? And it's a tiny Dodrio. Oh, there's a Doduo as well. We gotta get the Dodrio first because the Dodrio is probably a lot less common. So we're gonna get the Dodrio, then get the Doduo. That would be cool to get both of those guys out of the way as soon as possible. Where are you going? 
Get back here. Now, okay, wasn't quite in the circle, almost was though. Come on. Yeah, not bad, the first ball landed on them. Dodrio, that is super awesome. So that was 576 experience, plenty enough for Tonka to get his level up to 46. Slowly but surely, getting everybody to level 50. And with that, we get ourselves a new Pokemon. Dodrio's Dino will be added to the Pokedex. One of Dodrio's two heads splits to form a unique species. It runs close to 40 miles per hour in prairies. Wow, that's really cool, pretty fast. And uh, we did have the Doduo there. I want to catch you as well. That way we can just get both of them out of the way. How perfect would that would be? You're so adorable. Oh, you encountered a wild Doduo. So yeah, the, the Ultra Ball should be fine. We got a great throw. Let's hope that's going to be enough to catch on the first try. That would be awesome. Come on. All right, so three very awesome Pokemon catches to start today's episode off. Snorlax, Doduo, and Dodrio. 335 experience is okay. You know, it gets us a little bit farther along, which is all we really want. Okay, so let's learn a little bit more about Dodua as we add it to the Pokedex. Its short wings make flying difficult. Instead, this Pokemon runs at high speed on developed legs. Hmm, okay. So obviously it doesn't really have wings. <laughs> Can't fly. That's fine with me. I still think it's wonderful. And before we do too much more, let me go ahead and grab this Pokeball. It's a PP up. Cool. We have a couple of those. I really gotta decide what I wanna use them on. And there's another entry here, which is weird. Like, what, what is with these two different buildings? I don't really know. There's an old dude. Good effort. It's not many who it's not many who make it up here. All I did was chop down a bush. What is this? I have no clue. It's a nice little house. There's some thugs over there. Hello. Oh dear, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. TM14 fly. Ooh. Okay. That's nice. And it looks like that's about it. Actually, maybe I should talk to you so you can describe Fly a little bit. Let me get back in there. Hold on, I'll leave you alone forever after I do that. Hey, Team 14 is Fly. The user flies up into the sky and attacks in the, on their next turn. Please put it to good use. I will, thank you. So we could give that to Fred. We'll have to wait and see. Hello. What do you want? I just wanted to see how you're doing. Are these guys like guarding the house or something? <laughs> Making sure that her retreat is perfect. Punk Guy Lao. Oh, he has Onyx. So actually, what I have right now won't work so well. I'm gonna have to switch Eve out for somebody else. Probably Tonka. No, 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 don't fight, don't fight. Because Floaty Fall is not gonna do very good and any of the electric type moves are not gonna do very well. Our best bet is just Tonka. We could also do Lily with, you know, the dig, but I'd rather just do Tonka. We've, we've given Lily plenty of limelight in the last couple dozen episodes. Okay, well, Earthquake isn't that big of a deal. We'll be fine. I do want to teach him Surf or whatever it was. Uh, we'll do Bubble Beam. Maybe it was Waterfall. I don't remember. Will that be a one-hit takedown? Indeed, it will be awesome. Very cool. And along with that, what other Pokemon do you have? Muck. Okay, so I will switch again. And I think we'll just switch over to Lily. Because, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, Lily's level 50. She's very, very strong. Okay, so uh, let's try this out. Looks like we're going against Muck. And let's just fight. Psychic should be able to take it out really easy. We have a 14 level lead on this thing. So it shouldn't be a problem. And it's not. Okay, so an easy battle overall. So before we go to the next battle, I will actually get the TMs out and apply whatever new water type move we learned at last episode. <laughs> Don't you dare laugh. Wow. Um, but yeah, whatever water type TM we got last episode, we'll apply that to Tonka. Mind your own business. I like hanging out here, okay? It's fun. Well, yeah, have fun. What's the shame in that? Bag and TM case. We had fly and we had surf. The user attacks everything around it by swamping its surroundings in a, with a giant wave. I do want to use this TM, I want to use it on Tonka. Okay, so I'll probably just put this over Bubble since we already have Bubble Beam. I don't think we need Bubble as well. Um, so let's give it a shot, forget this move. Okay, one, two, and ta-da! Tonka forgot Bubble, and it learned Surf instead. And there was also Fire Punch. 
which is 75 damage, the target is punched with a fiery fist. This may also leave the target with a burn. I think they want to put this on Fred, because it's, it's fire, right? Yeah, fire move, yep, okay, I gotcha. So we're gonna teach it to Fred. And let's take a look. This is fire spin. I think it would be better than fire spin, which only does 35 damage, but it does it like recurringly. What is the accuracy for this? 100%, then we're, we're definitely gonna go for it. Forget this move, see a fire spin. Okay, very cool. I like it. So with that being done, I think that's all the TMs I wanna learn at the moment. Let's take on more trainers, we got you. Nice Pokemon, hand it over. Yeah, we're not handing over a Pokemon for anything. Not happening. I got like the best Pokemon ever. I'm gonna name that to my kittens. Not happening, Roughneck Koji. It's now Raticate, okay. Now let's see what we can do against you. Eve should be able to handle you no problem. Eve is almost level 50 as well, level 49, halfway through it too. Oh, you avoided that, wow, okay. You know, I'm gonna have to use some Zippy Zap. Hyper Fang is not a fun one. Fight and Zippy Zap. Oh, come on, come on. Not bad. So there we go, we got it. 500 experience is pretty good. And who do you got now? Coughing. I think I will switch. And I think I'll go to, oh man, who is good against, I, I get this mixed up every single day. I think that will just do, I think Charlotte does well against it, right? It's probably wrong. We'll try it, we'll just try pedal dance. <laughs> Might be all wrong in like every way imaginable. I just, I don't know why I get so mixed up with the typings all the time. I try my best, and the obvious ones, you know, fire is better than water, fire is better than grass, and then water is better than rock. Like that kind of stuff makes sense. Then it gets a little too complicated for me. I probably should have done pedal dance. Let's see how well this does. Yeah, it's not very effective. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst. Why did I think that'd be good? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Pokemon. I'll just switch to Lily then, just to be safe. Because I know that her psychic move will get rid of this guy, no problem. And to level 36 coughing, I'm not too worried about it, like tearing our team up or anything. He's gonna use Haze, which, uh, all stat changes were eliminated. You just did that a moment ago. Why would you do it twice? Weird. Okay. Nice stuff right there, effective, or super effective which means he should have one more Pokemon left. Who is it gonna be? Rhyhorn, um, I'm gonna keep battling actually. I mean, I guess I could have brought out Tonka and just did a water type thing. But for right now, we're just gonna do Dig. Dig should be good. Just because, you know, she's already out. We don't have to spend more time throwing out another Pokemon. But yeah, I'm really good with how much progress our team has made recently and just sort of the progress we're making in general throughout the game's world. Like, I'm hoping that we can make it to Fuchsia City without it being too much of an issue. Like, last episode was like an hour and a half of just battling through. There were so many trainers, it was insane. Okay, we beat Roughneck Koji. Knockout! All right, another thousand dollars and a couple Pokeballs. Thank you for that, sir. Forget it, who needs your Pokemon? I do, I need them. Hey, you just bumped me. Did I, or did you bump into me? Who knows? You know, it could be water in the bridge, we could just walk away. But no, you gotta battle Punk Guy Hideo. Or Hideo, maybe Hideo. Uh, all right, we got Arbok. And we should just be able to do a good, strong electric type move. So we can try Zippy Zap. Seeing how we have 13 level advantage, I think that'll be fine. Ooh, come on, Eve. Boom. Oh my gosh, really? Tiny little bit left. New Poison Jab, which is probably gonna poison Eve, which I didn't wanna have to deal with, but now I do. Oh my gosh, come on, that was so uncool. Oh, yay! <laughs> okay, don't let the worry. She pushed through the poison. You are the best. Okay, just use Thunderbolt. Get rid of Arbok. And who do you got next, sir? Because whoever it is, we're taking it down with a vengeance. Level 45 for Kobe. Nice job. Firo, perfect. Keep battling. So you're gonna send out Firo, which we'll be easily able to wipe the floor with. Just do Zippy Zap. Come on, you got it, Eve. Ba-boom. Easy takedown. Probably could've just done Thunderbolt. Okay, so there's another one done. And that's you taken out. Kaboom! 
I think that's all the trainers in this little area. A long time ago, we used to ride bikes all up and down this route. <laughs> so lame. See, I knew those guys used to ride bikes. What do you mean it was so lame? That's what you used to do. Have pride in your past. So that was it, that was that little secret area. I mean, it was worth doing. Got some extra experience for it, got a couple extra level ups, and we got the TM Fly, which might be a good one. Don't really know too much. So let's check this patch one more time. Anything interesting or new, doesn't look like it to me. Just got these guys running around, so I gotta go ahead and cut down this bush. Okay, got it. Good job, Eve, good job. And let us head this way. So this is the proper way. We take a left and then we go down. We should be able to get to everywhere we need to. Ooh, this like has a second floor to it. Pokemon Road is a downhill path leading to the sea. You should try having a nice little hiking, or hike along it with your favorite Pokemon. Well, I am. All of them are my favorite. There are certain Pokemon that will fly while carrying their trainer on their back. Because Pokemon Road is so wide and safe, it's possible to fly particularly freely there too. Ooh, okay. Let me do that with Fred then. Hello. Hi, remember me, I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. The professor told me that if your Pokedex has a good data on, has good data on 40 species, well, yeah, we actually told that the guy who had 50, but something called data you or set you or something, I don't know what that said. Uh, you've caught 63 species, congratulations, and here you go, 30 Ultra Balls. Okay, that's what that said, okay. Well, 30 Ultra Balls is great. As for a Pokeball, that makes it even easier to catch than an Ultra Ball. Well, I hear Silphco may or may not be working on such a thing. Yep, I already got it. Never mind. Okay, I already heard this. What about you? I finally asked her out. I'm going on a date with a date on Pokemon Road. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm meeting with a friend to go see some of the Pokemon of Pokemon Road. Oh, just a friend. Oh no. Going south already. What about this? Let's see the what the binoculars have to show. That's the Celadon department store. Yep, we've already been there. And so with the binoculars at the show, there's a long path over the water that way, which I think we've also done. I don't know. Depends on which path over the water it means. Anyways, that was fun. I will go ahead and go to our bag. No, 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 our party. That's what I need. Party, Fred. Actually, I don't need to move you. I just need to take you out of the Pokeball. There we go. Make some cool noises. But we can fly him normally, but apparently we can fly him even more on a wider road. I don't, whoa, this is cool. This is super cool. Look at us, we can just fly over everybody. How cool is this? Now, I don't know if this is exactly what I wanna do. I wanna go down and talk to all those people, see what Pokemon they're on a battle, pick up all the Pokeballs, but this is awesome. And some people said that I can actually find different Pokemon up here. I'm not seeing anybody just yet, but I'll keep flying around and, Oh, okay, some, some Pokemon are popping up down below. I don't know if I can go downwards. It looks pleased from the fresh breeze blowing past. That is so cool. I definitely wanna to talk to all these guys because I think they're all trainers. Gives me a nice little sneak peek about what's coming up though, which is nice. And uh, oh, there's a Magikarp in the water. And then here's the end of the route. Where are we right now? Is that everything we had to look forward to basically in today's episode? Use this item. Yeah, awesome, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. So let's try to find some Pokemon in the air. Oh, there's a Star Ryu. So I can't actually catch these guys right now because I can't go into the water. But there's gotta be a way to find some flying Pokemon. Or maybe this area just doesn't have any? I really don't know. But so far this is really cool, I like it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing anybody up here. Got some lonely skies. Okay, well, whatever. We did what we could, and can I fly up here? Oh, I could've. Okay. What else do you have to say? I don't think anything else. Fred is feeling totally carefree. So let me go ahead and, I guess I gotta put you back into the Pokeball. Return to Pokeball. And we should just return to the floor, right? Yep, we just zoop back down. And there's a Pokeball waiting for us. It is the Super Potion, cool. But yeah, I don't know why we didn't run into any flying Pokemon up there, but hopefully we do soon. Route 16, Celadon City to Fuchsia City, which makes sense. And then this way we got three Great Balls, very good. So hopefully we have a lot of fun traveling this route, because this is what we're gonna be doing in today's episode. Whoa, you have great Pokemon, let me see. You didn't see me flying overhead with Charizard. Fred, that's his real name. Camper Ruben. Wonder what Pokemon he's gonna have. He's an outside duck, which is great for Eve. Hmm. 
So I, I think that we're just gonna go ahead and do Thunderbolt. We have a 14 level lead on you. Probably gonna be our best bet. Let's try it out. Yeah, nice. Okay, super effective, I knew you could do it. Oh, nice, an extra critical hit to make us happy. And you do have another Pokemon, we'll have to see what that is. Uh, Psyduck again, okay, perfect. Well, two Psyducks, a very cute combo, but isn't gonna help you out much against Eve. Eve's gonna take you, all, you both down without you even having a chance, I'm so sorry. So, off to a pretty good start when it comes to battles and catching Pokemon and venturing around, like I'm having a good time so far. Psyduck fainted, which means, get 223 experience. Not really getting too much experience from the battles, but I, I sort of understand why. The code is so shiny. Yeah, I guess I would imagine Eve would be very shiny. Ahead is a Pokemon Road. You can stroll or enjoy battles there. Well, I'll be doing that. So this is Pokemon Road. Huh, interesting. Well, let me get this Pokeball. Super Potion again. So there's lots of potions here, probably because there's a lot of battles to be had. Not as much as the other route, though. Do you want to battle my Pokemon? Yes, I do. It looks like you have Vaporeon, one of the Eeveelutions. So I should be good with Eve. But is that the only Pokemon you have? Indeed it is. That'll make it even easier. Sending out Vaporeon. Very cool, I like it. Okay, Eve, you can do it. So, let's fight and do, we'll just do Zippy Zap. It should be a one hit takedown. Let's hope. Yeah, easy. I like it. Such a, like the evolutions look so stinking cool in this game. Some of the Pokemon really do look a lot cooler in like a higher real realized third, you know, 3D models instead of just being 2D little sprites. But anyways, we defeated her, $740 for winning, two great balls. Awesome. So, I'm looking for Pokemon friends. Well, you got a new friend. How are you doing? Okay, what about you? Oh, wait, wait, wait. before we talk to you, because you're gonna wanna battle, let's switch your Pokemon, because you're, of course, an electric type. We're gonna probably just go with Lily. Uh, Move Pokemon to the front. Perfect. And talk to you. Oh, you're a little cutie. You're such, so like a, so like a darling Pokemon. Well, thank you. <laughs> So uh, yeah, we'll take you on. Beauty Alexis. Where she only has Jolteon, just like the other trainer. I think that's gonna be a theme with all the third trainers coming up too. I definitely saw that she had uh, the fire one. So we'll, we'll deal with that soon. Flareon, that's what it's called. Um, Flareon was down there. We saw that when we were flying around. We should just be able to dig, and it shouldn't be too big of an issue. We'll find out together. Yeah, good job. Super effective. That's it, I knew you could do it. Filthy unfainted, and we are good. So 680 experience for that one. And the battle is done. I was caught off guard. Yes, you were. $2,000 for winning and three Pokeballs. Very nice. So yeah, we're doing great through this road so far. I forgive you. I can take it. I'm a big girl now. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's see what else is going on. So we do have you. Let's go to our party one more time. I'm gonna switch out to Tonka, move Pokemon, and put that over Lily. Perfect. All right, let me see your Pokemon, please. Okay, <laughs> let's battle. Should be able to take care of uh, Flareon really easy with Tonka, because of course it's a fire type. So let's see what you got. So now Flareon, and that's it. So three very similar trainers. I do think that, like, it's so hard to decide which one looks coolest out of the three evolutions, especially in this game, like, oh man, they're all awesome. So we could try Surf, our first time trying Surf. You're gonna do Quick Attack first, but it really won't do too much damage to be a worry. Oh, here we go. Giant wave of water just takes you out. It's super effective, you fainted, and we're good to go. Okay, so we defeated last Mila. I'm happy now. <laughs> she doesn't look very happy, but I do trust her. You know, maybe she's not happy about the defeat, but she got to see the Pokemon, which is always good. I'm so happy to be able to see different Pokemon of different people. Well, that's cool. You're cool. Um, What's going on with this one? We got a sign to read. There's a notice posted here. Be on the lookout for discarded items. Oh, I've been looking, don't you worry. Hey, Psyduck! We've only caught one Psyduck before, so I'd love to catch another. Because you're gonna be a higher level for sure. You're level 34, which would be great. Yeah, that was badly timed. Because if we could get you to level up, maybe eventually you would turn into a Gold Duck, I think it's called. Now, boom, great, not bad. Maybe this will be the one. Uh, 
Ah, not quite. You almost got it. Now, ooh, the excellent throw. That could be it. Come on, Psyduck, work with us. Gotcha, very good. So, all right, we caught a Psyduck. And it's gonna be 200 CC for experience. We really just don't get too much experience for catching as much as we used to. You've grew to level 50, though. We're still enough to get a level up, so I shouldn't be complaining. So there we go, our second Psyduck, I'm pretty sure. Maybe our third, but I don't think so. We got a super lore, nice. You don't get too many of those. Like super, and I think there's also max lore. And over this way we have uh, three Great Paws, and I think there's a tiny Psyduck here in the corner. You bet there is. The tiny ones are definitely worth catching, especially if they're extra tiny or extra small, be or extra small and extra large, because they give like super ton of experience. So we'll find out, especially if we can get on the first throw and it make it excellent. Oh my gosh, there could be so much experience if it catches. Ah, come on, Psyduck. Work with me here, buddy. Now, oh, that was so close, yet so far. Come on. Ah, he is playing hard to get right now. How many, we have quite a lot of Ultra Balls left now. We have 56 of them. That was not what I did there, but okay. Come on. Oh, that caught him. Of course, when we don't land the excellent on the first throw, that's when we catch him. <sighs> okay, whatever. Fred is so close to getting level 47, and Charlotte and Tonka aren't too far behind with the leveling up. So our combo of two, not bad. Anything else interesting? There's another side deck if we wanted to continue the combo. I'm tempted. Let's just keep on continuing the combo until we find something better, because I have a good feeling about this whole patch of area. I mean, I think there's another one coming up as well. Now, ooh, another excellent throw. Can we get it on the first try? Please, Psyduck, work with us. Ah, he is such a toughie. Well, we get a great throw that time. As soon as a worse throw, the better Psyduck will work with it. Oh, well, yeah, this is what I said. <laughs> All right, well, we caught a Psyduck for the third time in a row. This one wasn't like tiny or anything, so you're not really any particularly good experience. But we'll get level 47 and 48 for Fred and Charlotte. Very nice for a good level 47 and Charlotte the 48. Very cool. Okay, and along with that, we got ourselves our third Psyduck. Pretty cool as well. Any other Pokemon? I mean, I'm sure there's bound to be more Pokemon showing up in a second because this is a huge <gasps> Ponyta. Yeah, that's so cool. I totally forgot about Ponyta. I think this is, yeah, this is Ponyta, not the evolution, which is Rapidash. Okay, so Ponyta is all over the place right now. You seem like you're gonna be a tough catch, so let me go ahead and use one of our last raspberries. Nice, okay, so now you're in the green. That's awesome. Ooh, too bad my throwing is still awful. I'm gonna catch you. Now, ooh, almost a really good throw there, too. Come on, come on, come on, it's gonna work. Yeah, we got ourselves our first Ponyta. How cool is that? Okay, we haven't even seen a Ponyta in the game yet, I don't think. I mean, maybe like once or twice. 202 experience is gonna be level 51 for Lily. That's nice to see. And uh, let's see what the Pokedex has to say about it as we add that data. Capable of jumping incredibly high, its hooves and sturdy legs absorb the impact of a hard landing. Very cool, I like it. So cool looking. Okay, so what do we got next? Anything else awesome to check out around here? <gasps> oh my gosh, come over here. Come over here right now. Don't run too far. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, finally, we got ourselves an Eevee. I gotta look around this area a lot for a lot more Pokemon then. Get ready. Oh, you jump around a lot, but we got a great throw right away. You're so tiny. Come on, keep going. You got it. Oh, I don't have too many berries, so I would like to not have to use them here if I don't have to. That was not an excellent throw, I would argue that one. Come on. So close, we almost got it. Now, that was totally an excellent. Okay, whatever. Two, one, caught. Dang it, <laughs> didn't work. So we're running out of chances here. She's gonna run away soon. But that, that was a great, not an excellent. Ooh. Should I throw, it's too late to throw a berry. It's too late. Ah, oh, that was an awful throw. My timing was way off. Come on. Ah. 
Now, ow, I hit the desk. It was an excellent throw though. It was a, it was a good luck stumble. Come on. No! I almost got it. Stop jumping around so much. Like you're adorable. No, wait, oh, I knew it. Come on, that stinks. You were so tough to catch. I'm not done. I wanna have a Vaporeon, a, a Flareon, and a Jolteon like those ladies have. So I'll just keep looking. I can't believe we found an Eevee and messed it up. There is another trainer over here we gotta talk to though. Almost missed him. He has a uh, War Turtle. We could catch more repeat Psyducks though. Might be worth our, our, a while in the meantime. We'll catch these two Psyducks. If any more Pokemon show up, awesome, but we might have to come back here later. My goal is to finish most of the game and then go back for any Pokemon we may have missed. Now, not bad, an excellent throw and everything. So that better be, Psyduck seems to be a little ridiculous with this. The better throw we get on the first try, the harder they become to catch, why? You must be rewarding me for doing good. Now, another excellent throw, come on. I'm getting two in a row here, you gotta give it to me. Ah, oh, there we go. Jeez, too much effort. <laughs> so I caught another Psyduck. It's not gonna be much experience, 264. Really isn't much, but that's fine. Not what I'm looking for. Okay, you know what? I am getting a little bored of catching Pokemon right now, and more Psyducks just keep popping up. So I'm gonna give it a couple more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Another Ponyta. Come on, two Pokemon left, which means one more has to pop up somewhere. Oh, come on, one last chance, one last chance. I got it this time. He just run, she just runs up to us, a wild Eevee. Whop. Excellent throw this time, finally got one. Come on. Yeah, first throw and everything, that's gonna be some good experience, it has to be, right? Oh my gosh, 439 really isn't that much. 439 experience though, and we got ourselves our first Eevee. So we know where to look for more of them later on, if we need to you know, evolve them. It can evolve into a variety of forms. Eevee's genes are the key to solving the mysteries of the Pokemon evolution. Very cool. So there we go. Got another uh, Pidgeot, or no, Pidgeotto. And let's talk to you, you're probably a trainer. Please, would you have a battle with me? Oh, who do we have out in front right now? I do not know. I forget. Uh, Ace Trainer Johnson. Okay, Johnson, you're going down. I think I have a Tonka out. So, Tonka, yep. Okay, so we'll just have to switch out because right now this isn't gonna be very effective. Uh, Pokemon, and switch to Eve, and that should be plenty fine. Wanna be very useful to use water type moves against it. Come on now. Go on, Eve, I know you can do it. Oh, you surf, which is not gonna do too much damage to us, which is good. I mean, it's still pretty damaging moves, so we gotta be careful, but it's not that big of a worry. You're level 40, so I think I will use Zippy Zap just to be careful. And what do we got? One hit takedown, that's what we got. You have two other Pokemon now. Wonder what those are gonna be. Critical hit? To be expected, of course. All right, to 568 experience, and Tonka grew to level 47, how good is that? Marowak, okay, so I do wanna actually switch back to Tonka now. Because Marowak is a, like a rock type, right? Or ground type, so water should be good against him. Hopefully. We're about to find out, come on, Tonka. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, fight, and what's this do surf? Right away. Tonki, you surf. Oh boy, here we go. One hit takedown, you bet. What a wonderful move, it's super effective. Marowak, Marowak fainted. This is a cool area too, I like this battle area. And uh, Magneton, I will switch. I mean, I think, I think that steel is weak to electric, so we can do this, it should work out fine. Let's hope, if not, I'll look very silly. Which, you know, I'm pretty used to anyway, so what's the big deal? So we got three Magnemites. And Zippy Zap. This should get it, let's find out. Oh, okay, I was wrong again. Gosh darn it, I don't know why I get that so mixed up. All the time, try attack. Ooh, ooh, that could hurt. 
Oh, I'm so sorry, Eve. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't fight either. Instead, go to Pokemon and just go to Lily. I think. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, I mean, I know that ground type works. I just don't know what the other thing is. Which ones work, which ones don't. So we're about to find out. Okay, so you're gonna try attack again, which really isn't that big of a deal. I mean, we could just try using Psychic. Oh, or Burn, though. That stinks. I mean, it's not really that too much damage. I'm just gonna use Dig. Let's just play it safe. Don't wanna mess with things too much here. Okay, so they avoided the attack. Of course, because they're underground. Come on, just take him out in one hit. Thank you, you're the best. Okay. So that should be everything he has. And there we go, Ace Trainer Johnson taking out, even if they lost, my babies are still cute. That is true. Oh wow, almost $4,000 for winning, and five Ultra Balls is very useful for all the ones I'm you know, wasted with Eevee. Thank you for battling with my babies. <laughs> you were so affectionate, that's wonderful. Any other Pokemon around that I can catch? I know there's another, yeah, tall grass around, so we should be fine. What about this one? Trainer tips, all Pokemon are unique. Even Pokemon of the same species and level grow at different rates, which adds up in time. That is very true. Oh, hey, you found an elixir. Cool, that'll be nice to refill some of the, uh, some different skills. Oh, what was that? Something just popped up over there, just a Pidgey. <laughs> some simple Pokemon over this way. Not really the same rarity. Another Ponyta though, which is always cool to see. Whoa, okay, I thought that was a, a, a wild Pokemon. Be a rebel! No. <laughs> I will do what I want. If it's rebellious or if it's not, we'll find out. Okay, so we're challenged by Punk Guy Cory. And Santa Primate. What do you know? So I don't know if I should just switch Pokemon then. I mean, we might just be able to brute force this one using Thunder. Oh no, that's right, we have, we still have Tonka out. Well, we'll try Surf. Because I mean, neither of us are really incredibly effective against the other. If things get nasty, I can always switch over to Lily and do Psychic. Ooh, what was that? I didn't even know what that move was. Well, you, you move back. Ooh, it was a move that like when they attacked then they jumped back. Oh, perfect! <laughs> you couldn't have planned that any worse. Okay, we're just gonna do Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam should be fine. We have nine level advantage against a Graveler. It should be easy. And indeed it is. Okay, so it looks like uh, your Primate has to come back out, which I'll also hit with the Bubble Beam and we should be fine with that. Nope, keep battling. I don't even need to mix it around all too much. This should be fine. So fight, and bubble beam. I just gotta remember, everybody has their Pokemon out on this road, so I just need to adjust my opening Pokemon properly, you know, effectively, whatever just fits the situation, and we should be good. So six hundred four experience for that one. Very nice. And Punk Guy Corey's taking down. Arr! All right, well, you weren't too bad, buddy. Be ready to fight for your beliefs. I will. <laughs> Don't you worry, I already have been. What about this sign? And then we'll go against this coach. Trainer tips, when you're catching a Pokemon, try to throw your Pokeball inside the color ring. Get nice throws or great throws based on how small the ring is to make catching Pokemon a breeze. Pokemon Road is soothing, isn't it? Huh? Oh, sorry, I spaced out. I'm a coach trainer, did you want to have a battle? Sure, we don't know what Pokemon you have, but that's okay. Okay, I'm ready. So it is Coach Trainer Grantley. Interesting name. It's now Firo. Okay, well we don't exactly have an advantage, but it's not like an incredible disadvantage either. Flying's not good against water. We'll try it, we'll see what ends up happening. I just don't really wanna switch over at the moment, so Surf it is. Cause I think Surf will go against flying. They won't just like fly over the water, which you would think they would, but ooh, not bad. Drill pack, ooh that might hurt. Oh, sorry Tonka. Okay, Bubble Beam should be enough to finish you off. So that's exactly what we'll do. And, gotcha, good stuff. So, uh, who does he have next? It's gonna be Beedrill, okay. So I'm gonna switch Pokemon's a bug type. So if we switch over to Fred, I should be able to use a flying type move and that'll deal with Beedrill pretty quickly, which will be pretty cool. Okay, so Beedrill, what do you got for me? <laughs> Menacing poses. And then we'll just do wing attack. 
Nice, okay, very good. And Beedrill fainted. So that's another one down, which means you only have one more Pokemon left. Lots of experience there. Sand Slash. I'm gonna switch Pokemon. I know that Charlotte does great against Sand Slash, so that should work out okay. Okay, so go on Charlotte, I know you can do it. And we could, depending on the level of the Sand Slash, like we could either do Petal Dance or we could do, uh, what's it called, Razor Leaf. I think we'll do Petal Dance. Give it a shot, see what ends up happening. Not bad at all. Easy, easy takedown. And with that, the Coach Trainer is done without really too much of an issue. And we defeated Coach Trainer Gr Grantsley. You're strong, you're great. Pretty good, pretty good. So what TM is he gonna give us? It was fun, I think he'll be able to put this to good use. TM58 Drill Run. TM58 is for Drill Run. It's this drilly move that has a higher chance of scoring a critical hit. Huh, interesting. Is that like bug type? I wanna assume it's bug type, because I think it was, oh, another Eevee! We need to catch as many Eevee as possible. We need at least four, one for a normal Eevee, one for all the evolution, so that's three of them. So go for it, it was a great throw. Can we get it? Come on now, Eevee, work with us. Come on. Yeah, nice, I'm so glad we got on the first throw with all the failure attempts we've had previously. Okay, so 359 experience, that's one of the best uh, experiences we've had for a catch all day. And Kobe got level 46 for it too, which is awesome. Very happy about that one. And this Eevee is level what? I didn't see, okay. But we do definitely need the evolution stones for Eevees, as far as I remember. And we found a rare candy, cool. That's another guaranteed level up for a Pokemon. And let's read this sign. Route 17, Zelda City of the Future City. So are we entering a new route now? I guess so. Okay, let's talk to you. Or talk to you. We get to Silver Pinap areas. Just pick it up. A lot of people drop their stuff around here. So let's check out this patch. We got another Psyduck. Got another Ponyta. Hmm. Uh. Oh, there's a Dodrio again. A pretty rare find, so I might just go for you for the heck of it. Maybe we'll get some good experience out of it too. A wild Dodrio. Ready, whoop. Oh, that was almost a really good throw. You are all over the place, sir. Not a bad one, though. Could have been worse. Come on. Excellent. Not bad at all. All right, you caught a Dodrio. Okay, 500 experience for that one. Really nice. So what level were you? I guess it doesn't tell you on the screen at all, which is weird. I guess it only tells you when you're catching it. Should pay attention more then. Because usually I'm then so focused on catching them before they run away. And what does this sign say? Should be another trainer tip. There's a notice posted here. Don't throw the game, throw Pokeballs instead. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess just because there's so much motion controls, or way that people accidentally throw it. All right, we got a nugget. So it looks like we got ourselves a Weepin' Bell down here. So what I want to do is uh, go to our party and switch to Fred. That should be good. Well, no, wrong thing. Uh, move Pokemon and move it over Tonka. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. One last check to make sure we haven't missed out on any cool new Pokemon. See a Doduo running around, how adorable. But that looks like it's it. Uh, another Doduo, yeah, okay. Never mind. So let's talk to you and battle this lady. I need a little exercise. Well, be careful, you're in heels. You don't wanna like twist an ankle or anything. That would be awful. Beauty Samantha. Oh, Weeping Bell. And that's your only Pokemon. A lot of these people who only have one Pokemon like hanging out near them, only have one Pokemon to battle with. Not always, the thug had two, but most of the time. So we'll just go ahead and do Fire Punch. Let's try our new Fire Punch out. Ooh, one hit takedown, beautiful stuff. So the Weeping Bell fainted. And that means we are good to get out of here. 500 experience, and anybody gonna get a level up? Nope, Beauty Samantha's defeated. Woo, good workout. $2,000 for that one, very good. We have so much money at this point, it's crazy. We need to spend it soon. I'm sure I lost weight there. <laughs> Let's hope so. Um, I mean, I think you'd look fine, but not. that's not what I meant. But I meant just, you know, just because that's what you were trying to achieve, okay? Are you good or a good kid or a bad kid? Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> so we're going against Persian, it looks like, which Persian, I don't really have anything that would be really good against Persian, so whatever works against Gentleman Orson. We could try Fire Punch again. 
it'd be fine. Yeah, we'll give that a shot and see what ends up happening. Let's fight and fire punch. Boom. Nice, not bad at all. You need this nasty plot. I haven't seen this move. What? Special attack grows sharply. Interesting. They're just planning something evil. Oh man! It also, once again, it said you used a full restore, but it's not you as in you, the player. It's just you as in whoever used it. It's always very weird. Ooh, so we got you back down there again. Your special attack is really high though, but if we can fire punch one more time, that's it. Boom. Excellent stuff. So we took you out without taking any damage. Waste of a full restore, I suppose. Okay, very good, another easy battle. No, you're a great kid. <laughs> oh, thank you for the compliment, that's so nice. Some of the gentlemen are a little mean, some of them are really nice. Pokemon Road used to be the, the cycling road, which wasn't very safe, but it got much safer once it became a Pokemon Road. We'd think that would make it less safe just because there's so much battling. Oh, hey, so we're, we're gonna keep with uh, Fred because a fire type here against uh, Executor would be good. Where's a good looking guy who's, a, who's who is with a cute Pokemon? I don't know. You just gotta keep looking around. There was a guy actually a little bit more up the path who was like looking for more cute Pokemon, wasn't he? Uh, he was calling them their ba his babies. Yeah, Ace Trainer Maria. Okay, Maria, you're gonna send out Executor. You actually have three Pokemon. Yeah, the Ace Trainers usually have a little bit more. So, let's give this a shot. Fight and Fire Punch. Should be easy enough, but they are getting higher level now, 40s on average, just like level 40 instead of like 36 or 37 or 39, you know? Psychic shouldn't be that bad. It was a little bit damaging just because Psychic is a tough move. Let's do another Fire Punch. I probably should've just an Ember because Ember has a lot more uses to it. But hey, in the meantime, that was pretty good. Executor's gonna faint. And there we go, level 48, right? Very good. Ta uh, Fred's really getting up there. I was gonna say Tonka. I mean, Tonka is too, they're, they're all, they all are. Starming, so yeah, we're gonna switch because this would not be very good for us. And let's go ahead and use Charlotte. Eve's a little hurting right now, so if I could just leave her out of it, that'd be great. Charlotte should be able to handle it, no problem. And she can do pedal dance. Oh, that is so cool. I love the look of Starmie in this game. Let's do pedal dance. Should attack first as well. One hit takedown, easy stuff. And uh, who do you have next? 700 experience, almost level 49. Nine tails. Switch Pokemon again, and let's go to Tonka, which is a little low, but if we use Surf, because I'm pretty sure Nine Tails is a fire type that evolves from Vulpix, I think. Yeah, I think Vulpix. Wow, that is super cool looking in this game. That is so cool looking. Oh my gosh, Surf. Because it is a fire type, right? Oh, almost. And you're gonna use Flamethrower, which is not gonna be a big deal whatsoever. Definitely a fire type. Come on, come on, ready? We're just gonna go ahead and use Bubble Beam then. Should be definitely enough to take you down. And I gotcha. Very cool. So hopefully that gets us a level up for Charlotte and Tonka soon, because they're both very close, right? Oh, so close, so very close. And if you did Ace Trainer Maria, oops, did I just say that out loud? You did. Are you just now realizing you said that at the beginning of the match? Okay. It makes it easier to talk to people if they have Pokemon with them. Yeah, it's a great socializing technique. Okay, so you actually had the Vulpix, which evolves into Ninetales. Let's grab this Pokeball first. You've had a Super Repel, not bad. I mean, honestly, I don't like using repels in this game. But anyways, do we have, we need to get Tonka out first. Tonka's a little hurt, yeah, very hurt, but I think he'll be okay against a Vulpix. We'll find out. Maybe this will be only, her only Pokemon. You look gentle, so I think I can beat you. I'll give it a go. Hey, just because we're gentle doesn't mean we're not a smart, powerful, and strategic trainer. Just means that we're also good natured. <laughs> Picnicker Mizaki. I think I pronounced that right, I don't know. Oh, you have three po Pokemon, so that'll be a little bit tough. But for right now, Vulpix shouldn't be that big of a deal, so we go and throw out Tonka. How cool is this? So fight and surf. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of water. 
Oh, there we go, we got it. Super effective, that should be a level up for Tonka at the least, maybe even Charlotte, that would be awesome. Yeah, okay, we got it. Level 48, good stuff. And you're, ah, not quite. Ivysaur, so speaking of Charlotte, let's go ahead and switch over to Fred. It is interesting, we keep on having to bounce through our three starters. I don't know if it was designed that way, because this lady is very, this girl is very par parallel to the lady who had nine tails. And uh, yeah, let's give this a shot. Should be easy enough. We'll just do Fire Punch again. Might even be a one-hit takedown. Because we have 11 levels on this Ivysaur. And it looks like that was the case. Very cool. So what's your last Pokemon? Probably gonna be a Water type. Eve go to level 51, how cool is that? And Charlotte go to level 49, that's what I was waiting for. It's not Wigglytuff, okay, I was a little bit surprised by that one. We're gonna switch. Actually, maybe I shouldn't. We'll just keep how it is. <laughs> Wigglytuff should be fine. So let's fight and do wing attack. I just wanna try wing attack and see if this is any better. Eh, uh, it's fine. You're gonna do mimic, are you going to do wing attack then? He learned wing, wing attack, or she learned wing attack, sorry. It says on the top right. But before you can use it, we got you taken down. Oh well. <laughs> okay, so there's that done. And you beat Picnic and Masaki. No, wrong! Sorry. <laughs> well, we took you out. And I'm afraid of bikers, they look so ugly and mean. Sorry about that. Just stay away from them, I guess. They are pretty mean. A path that people and Pokemon walk together. Nice. Oh, and that's it. I guess that's the end of the road. And we're now on Route 18, where it seems as though there isn't too much going on. There's a lot of water out here I can't quite access. But yeah, that means that we have reached the end of this. What does it say? Uh, enjoy walking with your Pokemon even more on Pokemon Road. And if we go into this building, we'll, we'll explore this. We won't go into Fuchsia City today. That'll be next episode. But for now, we'll talk to you. Pokemon Road lies uphill from here. And can we go up the stairs? You bet we can. And we got another lady up here. In Fuchsia City, each resident helps raise the city's Pokemon. It said that in the guidebook. Cool, it seems like a, play, a good place to be a tourist. Let's see what the binoculars have to show. Pallet Town is to the west. Good old home. Let's see what's, okay. Uh, the people are swimming. Cool. Yeah, eventually we'll be able to swim through the waters and run into a whole bunch of water type trainers, which will be cool. But for now, I did wanna finish off today's episode by hopping back on the Fred and trying my best to see if there's any Pokemon up in the sky, because a lot of you said that was the case, but I haven't seen any yet. So we're just gonna go up there, maybe even activate a lure. So if I go, oh, I can't do that while I'm in the air though? Weird, okay, never mind. Might not be worth doing. But we'll just fly around up here and see who we can find, or what we can find. Right now, whoa, 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 hold on. We got a rapid ash down there I need to go grab. We need to get that, so, party, Fred, return to Pokeball. Which was a faster way to do that than having to pull up the menu. Rapidash, you are huge, and you got a big unicorn horn? I didn't even realize that part. You are gigantic. And kind of a wild Rapidash. Okay, get ready, and whoop. Let's see how that works. Come on, come on. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna be the first try. Let's try um, some food. We did have some silver pinup berries, which only gives them an item now. I, I need the nab berries. Oh, ooh, okay, that still worked, good. Get ready, now. Whoa, what a good throw. Come on, that's gotta be it. We gave you a berry. <laughs> you owe me. <laughs> yeah, we did it. That is so cool, you caught a Rapidash. Awesome stuff. 840 experience for that one is pretty massive. Wowee. So let's learn a little bit more about Rapidash, the evolution of Ponyta. Rapidash's data will be added to the Pokedex. It looks so proud, I love it. Just loves to run. If it sees something faster than itself, it will give chase at top speed. Five feet tall, 215 pounds. Very cool. So we're gonna hop back on to uh, Fred. I think, yeah, okay. Party and Fred. I'm so happy about that. But I, I really wanna find something in the air. There's a Psyduck again. <laughs> Not exactly what I'm looking for, gotta be honest. 
Another Rapidash! Wowee! Hmm. I'm gonna stay over the, the patches of grass. Like, maybe if I just stayed in one place for long enough? All right, well, I've been sitting here for a couple of minutes. It doesn't look like anything's popping up in the sky, so it might not be in the right area. Maybe there's a specific area where you can fly Charizard or any other flying type Pokemon and actually be able to, uh... Oh, there's another Rapidash, that's so cool. But be able to find Pokemon in the sky, where apparently there are more rare flying type Pokemon. But for now, that seems to be about it. Next episode, we'll finally be able to explore Fuchsia City. That'll be a lot of fun. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Flying Zebra. So you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now. Or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.